Right guys, so we've got another guess the price video. Um, this is the uh, massive tool haul from Old School Tools in Southport. Great shop, fantastic guy. Really, 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 really nice guy. Um, I only had about 20 minutes because I was on the way to the beach with the family. So I nipped in, um, had a quick look round, grabbed a few interesting items. And then I uh, this is what I picked out. I'm um, hoping to go back to his shop again at some point and have another look because I'm sure there's tons of items I missed, but I'm certainly happy with the items I picked up uh, off him. Um, so really, really nice guy. I would highly recommend you check him out. If I remember, I'll put a link to his Instagram below and you can check his shop out. Um, a great place to store, uh, so, um, source tools in the UK. You know, decent person, nice items, and I think a fair price. I mean, some of you guessed quite low on this, um, but you have to understand that these items, some of these items are particularly rare um, and cost quite a few quid to buy in the first place. So, and he's got a shop and a lot of business, you know, overheads to run. So without further ado, um, he, I, he, I think I'm just going to go from memory. He, I found this beautiful chisel and it was in the five pound box. And it's a beautiful London pattern chisel with like a boxwood handle in reasonable condition. Um, and he, five pounds, I think, was a bargain. Um, we've got this really interesting sort of uh, sheet sheet tack or something. As it say there, can you read that? Sheet tack or something. Um, and it's basically um, a tool holder for auger bits. So you can put your auger bit in rock solid. And then obviously you can use it as a screwdriver handle. Very interesting. Obviously, you can use longer, wider. So it's kind of a multi-tool kind of screwdriver deal. Really like it. Think it's super fun. Um, I think this was from memory. It, it was probably about twenty or thirty pounds, but I think that's great. We've got a very rare um, Wright Butler and Co. Um, set of calipers with um, all the um, what do you call it? All the um, wire gauges all the way around. This is a very rare um, collectible item, and he wanted quite rightly about forty or fifty pounds for that because it's quite rare. The the next item is a very tass little um, spoke shave. I think that was around the same sort. I think it was about thirty five for that, and they're quite expensive new, so not too bad. We got this beautiful um, sort of ebony sort of re, you know decent hardwood handle with all the original bits with a beautiful brass uh, locking nut lovely palmy swell handle to it multi-tool um, i think you wanted about 20 for that this amazing screwdriver um lovely handle really really nice very very nice so and then i, I won't go into the prices of them all but basically um we got this beautiful um uh, e preston spoke shave We've got a beautiful plumb bob, a really nice multi-tool hatchet. I just love the handle on that. It's one of my favourite tools. In fact, I think this is possibly my favourite item I've picked up from him. I just love it. It's definitely found its right home. I just love that. It's fabulous. Um, and then we got the item which I first found, which is the reason I contacted him and got in contact, was this rather unusual adjustable. So J.G. Watson has owned it. Um, really unusual design, the way it opens and closes. An unusual handle as well, very unusual handle. So this was what the most expensive item. This was around, oh, I can't remember, but it was a lot. Um, so he gave me a great discount. And in the end, I gave him £300 for the lot, which I think is a great deal, considering there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's less than about £28 an item. Um, and I think that is a very good deal indeed, considering there's a really rare wrench and some other collectible items amongst it. So <clears throat> really happy with that. Um, really, really nice. Um, couldn't say fairer. Really couldn't say fairer. Um, so so, so the, the, the guest of price winner was Ian. He said, I think you paid around 280 but you got a discount to 230. Well, you were closer at the 280, Ian, but 230, you were still the winner. So Ian, the essential handyman, guessed all these items correct. So 
Well done, Ian. Let's all give Ian a round of applause. So Ian, the essential handyman, fantastic guess. Well done. So <clears throat> I think that was definitely a two, not a three. It wasn't that close. One, two. So that's Ian's score. So well done to Ian. He is definitely in the running for the Guest Surprise Champion Trophy at Christmas. <clears throat> right, so the next item we've got on the Guest Surprise is this absolutely amazing um, E... A Berg Eskatuna, Sweden, and you can see the shark there. Uh, multi tool I got from my buddy Adam, who was originally from Nottingham in England, but now he lives in Sweden. And he posted this on his Instagram. I asked him, um, Would he kindly sell it? He said, Yes, I will. And he sold it to me, and I made him an offer, and he accepted. So it was my offer. I offered him £100. Uh, um, 100 um, of euros to to buy that plus I had to pay the shipping so it came out the total cost at 102 pounds and I think that's a fantastic tool at 102 pounds absolutely love it beautiful tool um so <clears throat> so basically Kesley Kesley Watson guessed 100 so he's only two pounds off, which is an amazing guess. So Kesley, you definitely had this nailed down to a T. Uh, I'm super happy with it. Absolutely love it. Uh, Kesley, uh, well done, buddy. Let's all give Kesley a big round of applause. That was a fantastic guess, Kesley, only £2 out, which is basically the same money, really. It depends on the exchange rate when I uh, bought it. So let's give Kesley three for that. I think that was a fantastic guess. So well done, Kesley. You are now on five. Um, absolutely brilliant guess, that Kesley. Now, the next item is a really, really funky item indeed. Um, it's a USSR, uh, rather dirty um vice um ussr vice uh, and it's got the date i think it's 1974 possibly not sure or oh, that could be the code um ussr really funky funky vice this um now when i went to newark i um i was driving out and i was putting some stuff in my buddy's van and he said and he had this in the back of the van i said oh a vice he went yeah yeah just an old vice I said, are you going to sell it? And he said, yeah, if you want it, you can have it. I said, no, I can't take it because I've got to um, make a video guess the price. So that'll make a good guess the price item. So I gave him a fiver, which is what I paid for the last one. So so five quid, it's not bothered. It's not nothing particularly rare, but it's a nice little vice. So I gave him a fiver. Um, I, so basically, uh, <laughs> uh, basically um, two of you, realized they got it for nothing alex tools guessed two pounds and jim guessed eight pounds so <laughs> both of you saw straight through some of you guessed like 40 dollars and all sorts but so basically this was the seven point seven points so alex and jim five pounds paid you're both three off so i'm not going to give you both seven points i'm going to give you both five points because it was a big guess that was so you can both have five each so let's give alex and jimbo a big round of applause so well done alex uh five to you buddy uh, where's Alex? Uh, Alex, 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 Alex. I'm sure you were there before. Alex Tools, there we go. 
one two three four five fantastic and then let's go to jimbo i'm sure jim's on the next page um hand there we are jimbo so i'm gonna go five one two three four five so well done to jim absolutely fantastic guess um and well done to alex he both saw straight through me and bid peanuts on it which is the a good strategy to do um <clears throat> i'll show you something else while i'm here um i've just had some cards made up saying i collect adjustable spanners if you are interested in uh, if you've got any of interest give me a call on and then and here's my instagram and on the other side i've put some pictures of some tools so when i go to newark i can hand these out and hopefully if somebody comes across an interesting spanner they might think of me if this is in their pocket so i don't know what you guys think of that um what do you think of the picture it's got a few interesting looking spanners on there so fingers crossed i've certainly got a few of them so to hand out so we'll see if if, if any of that actually uh, gets me a um gets me a nice unusual spanner to buy or swap all right so thanks for the today's winners which is jim and alex fantastic kesley watson and ian the essential handyman fantastic guess all right thanks for watching take care have a great day bye